Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to look at another episode of Monstrum that is on the PBS Story Channel um, Story, <laughs> the PBS Digital Studios Channel Story. So Monstrum is one of their shows. It's hosted by Dr. Emily Zarka, who's a professor in um, specifically romantic English literature. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at how dragons conquered the world. So this isn't, um, like most of our videos, they're not that long. This is about, <laughs> it's about six minutes, 15 seconds. So it's not that long, but she does a really good job of summing up the history of dragons and how this came to be and how they have have a long history just because we didn't know about the natural world back then. People basically saw dragons and things from the creatures they see under the sea to apparently Marco Polo was seeing alligators and possibly crocodiles when he was traveling <laughs> and dragons. So, and they've evolved into this mythical, almost universal creature that you can find anywhere from epic fantasies to children's books to various different histories. There are dragons and romantic literature. The um, Arthurian legends have lots and lots of dragons. You see them in the coats of arms all over Europe. So <laughs> they are very, very popular. Um, later, she does, and I've already reviewed this, she does an entire episode on Chinese dragons. So this one is in, again, in general, and how it, how dragons really have encompassed a lot of the world history. You find them in India and China and Europe. Um, I don't know if they're found, they were brought over to the Americas. You definitely have, yes, Kendra, sorry, being meowed at by a cat. Oh, kitty cat interruptions, beware. This is Kendra. By the time you see this, she'll be 14. She's 13 in this video. Um, it's the 8th of January of <laughs> 23 when we're filming this. So um, she is 13 and annoying, but nonetheless. And there are panthers at my door that I do not let in because they would cause problems. Kendra, more than this one. And they fight. So moving on. It's a very, very interesting video. Again, it's not very long. If you're doing an introduction to dragons, this is a great, great way to start. It's a great introduction to various different mythologies. If you're doing units on mythology or cryptozoology, which is the study of mythical creatures, this is a good way to look at one of those specific creatures and how it's become such a major, major part of almost universal culture. So there's not much else to say about this video. Again, it's it's under 10 minutes long. It's a little over six. So it's a great introduction. This is not the first time I've covered Monstrum. I've covered her Dracula videos, her Frankenstein videos, a couple of other actual monsters as early, um, my early October videos when I first started the channel because I don't like horror films. <laughs> I don't like horror films. And I figured these things are very educational. They are part of PBS um, Digital Studios, so they are a reliable source. And she is a professor. I have actually looked her up. Um, you can look up. I will link the video in the um, below. I think I linked her website when I did some of my early videos. I'm not going to do it now. I don't have time. <laughs> I have a lot of videos to get through. And I'm a three-year-old, so I'm also exhausted. <laughs> so there's a lot of work to do. And I have cats. And yeah, it, my toddler buried our living room and stuffed animals today, um, this evening, around like four o'clock. <laughs> so uh, there was a lot to clean up today because three-year-olds are fun. But, and by the time you see this, she'll be close to, if not already, four. I expect she's going to become even more fun. <laughs> because children. But, moving on. I do love this channel. Um, I'm covering, if I, I think my chi the Chinese dragons comes first. So that's already covered. I've covered her before. I will probably cover her more um, at a later date. So if you like this channel, <laughs> exactly me, uh, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. I cover books, mostly. And films. Um, mostly kids stuff, picture books, middle-aged chapter books. Um, I'm doing a lot of, I'm started doing bunches of book series and I'm continuing that. So I've covered the princess diaries. I've covered two Tamora's Pierce series this year. Um, that's four total. Um, I covered her, uh, circle of magic quartets 
both both of them as well as the will of the empress um previously i'm covering um the song of the lionist and the immortals quartet has been covered i'm currently i think when you see this i'm going to be doing guardians of gahul no i'm not doing videos going i i balanced off those other book series with videos i can't do it with the owls <laughs> the guardians of gahul there are eight videos in that. I cannot cover owls for 18 videos. I cannot find film related things for owls, let alone it was <laughs> it was a slog to get through all those books. There are 15 books in the series itself, plus the couple of extras of the short stories and the other things. Um, I'm going actually back to May Cabot for a short um, preteen series after these or after the guard. Guardians of Gohul are done, and I'm going jumping back to Catherine Lasky, and as well as well as a variety of her different stuff. I think later this year we're covering we're covering vaccines, we're covering unicorns, we're covering Caribbean American History Month. I trying to think what else. I, I have a tendency to cover the National Jewish American History Month as well. LGBTQ stuff is being covered this year. I do spring stuff in in March. I always do spring stuff in March. I like spring stuff gardening stuff. Uh, <laughs> I love gardening stuff. No, I cannot garden. I live in Arizona. I live in central Arizona. Yeah, it's not happening. Plus I have a kid. So, um, <laughs> moving on here. So there's a lot to see and a lot coming. Eventually I'll co cover, I will, um, the other upcoming thing that's tentative for 2024 is Animorphs. So I'm thinking about doing that. I have a feeling since that's very dark, I'll probably follow that up with something very fluffy, which is kind of what happens why I'm covering the Princess Diaries this year. Because I've also, I covered the Last Apprentice series by Joseph Delaney, which is middle grade horror. Oh, so horror. <laughs> and it's not my genre. So if you want those books, I, you could check out those reviews. Um, I think there's a total of about, I think there's about 15 videos on that. There's 13 books in the series and then there's two short stories and then one guide. Um, I don't know if I'll go back to him. It's debatable. <laughs> it's debatable whether I'll go back to him. He had, he did actually die early in 2022. So I cover that too. Um, as well, I think there's one more major book series I covered with this, which is the uh, Rangers Apprentice series by Joseph Delaney. So that's another one. I'm big on epic uh, fantasy is my genre, so <laughs> you'll be expecting to see more of that. I'm also covering musical theater this year, so I'm going to be doing some of those as well as I think I'm doing. I may bring into some mystery series coming in 2024, so there's a lot to look forward to as I chatter on about stuff that's not this <laughs> not this episode of Monster Room. But if you like what you see, be sure to check out the rest of my channel. I am consistent. My videos like this come out Fridays, my books come out Mondays, and then I'll have random stuff on travel and other random stuff that will occasionally pop up on Wednesdays. But consistently, it's Mondays and Fridays at 8 o'clock in the morning. And I have more than one video usually. So check out the channel, leave a positive comment if you have one. Thank you.